Going like, hey, how you doing, man? It's Joe D. <laughs> I know that's everybody's favorite part. There's some people who trip out on just that part alone and the smoke, my reactions to smoke. People, I think people have gotten over trying to tell me by now that, you know, Joe D, uh, smoke don't really do anything. And I'm like, it does to me. <laughs> it makes me, wow, look at that. So... Hey, this is Sherry Beer 375. Uh, we have Barrick, Bum, and Mark with us. How you guys doing today, man? Doing well, Joe. Doing good. Doing well. Yeah, today's show, I definitely want to cover uh, what I had talked about in my reaction video. I, want, I would like to cover the whole beer tube thing, beer tubers, beer tubing, mm -hmm. and uh, get everyone's reaction to that. But first, we'll cover what you're drinking, man. What are you, what are you drinking, Bum? <clears throat> Well, I came back this uh, from my weekend trip to Detroit. I was up, uh, I guess, a couple hours away from you, Bear. And while I was up there, I decided to pick up, try and find something local to bring back with me. And I brought back from Rochester Mills Brewing their Edit. milkshake stout. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds and, good. Yeah, and it's an excellent, excellent purchase. Rochester uh, Brewing. Rochester Mills Brewing. Oh, Rochester Mills, okay. Mm. And uh, I bought a couple of four-packs of it, and it's excellent. My son um, loves it. Yeah. It's yeah. like his go-to stuff. Yeah. There's, uh, there's not a lot of info. There's a lot of words on the can, but not a lot of info. Like, no ABV. I'm, I'm guessing it's about a fiver. I haven't looked online. Maybe Joe can find it. Yeah, I'm but, I'm looking it up as we speak here. There's I didn't have to get too far, and Google already had it in there for me. Very very tasty. I was hoping to find their website. I'm not seeing their website though. Hmm. That's kind of sucks. I've got a five percent ABV. Availability is rotating, is what it says on Beer Advocate. Okay. So, so what, what does yeah, it look like? What are you getting? Okay, I'll, I'll hold up my designated uh, chocolate uh, stout glass here. Nice. Serious okay. stout. Oh, yeah, I love that glass. Yeah. That's awesome. That's beer glass porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Not There's a creamy head on it. It's there. It's um, very, very sweet. Got a sweetness to it. Not overpowering chocolate, but it's it's uh, it's there though. Uh, yeah, I would expect that one to be kind of a subtle, semi-sweet yeah. chocolate, kind yeah. of uh, malty, maybe even a little bit. No hops. Yeah, no hops What's at that? all. Yeah, I wouldn't. What's I wouldn't expect it? that. Uh, yeah. Since they're calling it a milkshake stout, I wouldn't expect. Mm -hmm. uh, right. If it was made by Sierra or some of the other breweries, you would have the hops, though, no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah, you've got your hop forward breweries for sure. Yeah. Uh, now, I've got a, a posting here from MichiganBeerGuy.com. Uh, uh, I'll go ahead and share the love with him. Uh, and, and he's, um, let's see, he's got this at 20 IBUs. He posted this review in 2015. Uh, he says, A combination of four different malts along with a low hop level creates a deep, dark beer uh, featuring rich, uh, sweet roasted flavors. The addition of lactose, milk sugar, adds complexity, body, and residual sweetness, uh, lending to a smooth, creamy texture to this full-flavored brew. Hmm. I've had so. it. Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. I just didn't have a chance to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, couldn't have said it better myself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now this is the uh, the posting here from forty seven reviews gets an eighty three, so it's not great uh, according to them, right? Because eighty three would be what B? Is that a B or is that a B minus? I give it an A minus by my uh, grading system. 
Okay, so you give it any minus good. Cool. It sounds really uh, milk yeah, it sounds, tasty. It sounds, sounds really, really yeah. yeah. I'm I'm sorry I didn't buy more. If I if it's available next year when I go back, which I'm guessing it would be, I'm going to buy a case or two. I think I only bought eight. Of them. Mm -hmm. What what was it per can? Uh, for a four pack, my God, uh, like I think it was like eight or nine bucks. I just oh okay. I just bad. grabbed and bought. I was on my way home and uh, was just looking for something local and saw this and said, I'll take a chance. Yeah. I, th I think it was maybe cans? 16 ounce, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. If it's like 9 bucks for four 16 ounces, that's not too bad for craft yeah. beer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for craft Especially if you like it. If you happen to really like that, that mm -hmm. brew, then it's not, yeah. It's not too bad, yeah. <clears throat> and and uh, let's go ahead and cover our man Barrick man what are you having right now I'm having a mosaic bomb mosaic bomb all right wow. I'm telling you guys I am just falling in love with this stuff uh, I'm gonna make a lot more I've already got one that just a bottled uh, that'll be I'll be making citra bombs and mosaic bombs from now on and then the third batch will be whatever I decide to experiment with mm-hmm Really, really good. I like it. Good. good. Yeah. yeah, that's good beer. Really good. Very tasty. Did you do any anything different with with this one? Um, well, I haven't tried the new one. This is the one I. Oh. Um, no, it's exactly the same as a Citra Bomb, except the hop is mosaic instead mosaic, of. Citra. Right. Right. So I mean, the same amount. Everything is the same, just a different hop. Different hop, mm -hmm. yeah. So. Good. Cool, and what do you got, Mark? Uh, I'm, my starter beer is uh, the Schlafly Yakima Wheat. Schlafly. Uh, Schlafly is one of the breweries out of uh, St. Louis. We were, we were there last week, as some of you guys may have seen from my untapped posts. I, quite a few beers in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, managed to bring some home. Um, this, is, this is a pretty good one. Uh, it's 5.3 percent, and it's it's a basic wheat beer, and, and they use Yakima hops in there, so it's got a, a little bit more of a, a hoppy character than you would get in a you know typical wheat. Um, real drinkable. Uh, it's got that you know kind of that classic kind of wheat flavor, but there's there's some hop behind it. So it's like a wheat IPA. I mean, wheat pale ale, wheat IPA. I mean, it's got that nice cloudy color that you see in wheat ales, and um, real refreshing. What did they call that? The Hefeweizen? What did they call it? They call it um, Yakima wheat ale. Oh, just the wheat ale. Okay. Yeah. So, they make a, they make a regular Hefe as well, but I think this is a kind of a. I think it's their basic Hefe with Yakima wheat. Okay, I mean, here it is. Hops. Yeah, they call it part of their core seasonal. They have year-round yeah. core seasonal. Uh, special release, can sessions, wood aged, bottle conditions, limited edition, and draft only. <laughs> yeah, they've got a lot. <clears throat> so they've got <clears throat> quite the selection of. Uh, yeah. yeah. They've got that one at five percent ABV and. Yeah, five percent. Uh, uh, Twenty-five yeah. IBUs. Yeah. So it'd be kind of like a wheat pale ale, basically. Yeah. It's yeah. it's uh pretty you know. I like the website for sure. You can go <clears throat> straight in, right to the beer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I like that part. And I got to, um, I got to hang out for an uh, afternoon. I walked up there. The original brewery and whatever is just uh, kind of like the western part of of downtown, so like a mile away from where our hotel was. So I just walked up there and had a um, had a lunch and uh, three or four beers from the uh, from their what was on tap, you know, from the brew house. And uh, good stuff. I had a fried bologna and egg sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was oh. like thick bologna. It was like a, a half inch thick slice of bologna with yeah. an egg on top, and they put some Velveeta cheese on top yeah. of that oh. and put it on a roll. Oh. Yeah. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. It was really good. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a good thing I'm not on the screen right now, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's some serious food porn right there. You can oh, only handle so much, and then you went to Valvita, and I was like, ah! You know. That was, that yeah. was, it was some good stuff, man. 
I, I, you know, I have bologna always, sandwich in a long time. That's one of those things I've always had fried bologna sandwiches, you know, uh -huh. as a kid. You know, your mom would try to do something with the bologna. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're going to eat this damn bologna, man. So, yeah, you fry it up, though, man. A bologna oh, gets fried up good. It and gets my, good. Uh, my second beer is from a brewery I stopped at on my way back from Schlafly. A little, uh, a little sour ale. So I'll, I'll get big into that here in a little bit. <sighs> sour. Yeah. A sour coffee ale. A sour coffee. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I, I didn't, I didn't try it there, uh, but the, the one of the brewmasters was there, and I said, "Which one should I get?" And he goes, "Do you like coffee? Do you like sour ales?" I'm like, "Yeah." And he goes, "Okay, get that." So a I, sour coffee. Wow. Yeah. Okay, man, you got me. Yeah. Big cool. time. We'll get to it here in a little bit, I'm sure. But just um, uh, yeah, it I, says. I don't Andrew know that, how many sour coffees is there out there. I am curious now. And blended with coffee from our friends at String Bean Coffee, it says expect strong coffee aroma with a puckering mouthfeel. So I don't know. Should be interesting. <laughs> Man, you ain't kidding. But is it beer? Mm-hmm. It's a sour ale. It'd be like a coffee stout type of thing, except it's a sour ale. Sour ale, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's going to be interesting, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Man, that has got me curious. How many yeah. how many people make? You've got Grizzly, Grizzly Paw Sour Coffee Stout. Uh, it's somebody on Rape Beer is calling... The shoots Black Butte Porter a sour coffee. No, I don't know about that. No, that's a stretch. No, uh, the, the, the brewery is Alpha Brewing Company. Yeah, wow. A little, um, you know, they just they brew um, probably enough for their tasting room and a couple bars in the area, kind of like Zach. I mean, they're about the same size as as Zach. Probably actually a little smaller. No. Here's an article. This is the, whoops, I almost hit the darn wrong button there. This is uh, an article from uh, an, a piece from Draft. Oh, okay. Draft made there you go. Uh, from July 2000, uh, July 5th. So it's recent. Uh, coffee and chocolate are sneaking into sour beers. Okay. Well, maybe this might be it. The nutty, roasty. Uh, flavors of coffee and cocoa seem like they don't belong in a tart wild ale until you try it. Yeah, yeah. that's what the guy said. He says you'll you'll like it. And so I'm like, okay, I'm taking you. It was it was what was it for the bottle? It was ten bucks for the bottle. And for a was it a 750 milliliter? Yeah, it's a 750 milliliter bottle. So wow, that's ten bucks. It's like a bottle of wine. Basically, yeah, this, is, this is wow. Got me yeah. interested, man. That, is that? I mean, if that, if the, if the picture that they're showing is a coffee sour, mm -hmm. you would never guess, right? Yep. 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 So we'll see. It's um, you got to talk about your beer thing first, and then we'll uh, dig into this thing. Yeah. So they, they got the styles as chocolate. Chocolate go ghost, ghost, goose. How you uh -huh. always got to say that? And coffee. Wild Ale, Coffee yep. Berliner Weiss, yep. and <clears throat> and here's six to try. New Belgium Oscar worthy coffee. Yeah. So this is, I guess, New New Belgium has a uh, a dark sour ale. Yeah, that's interesting. And then you got Wicked Seed. Uh, what is that? Salinco? Oh, Wicked Weed. Yeah, Ooh, Wicked Weed. I'm that sorry. Might be interesting. Newberg Cafe, uh, Cafe uh, Sour. Sour, yeah. Uh, Greenpoint Enduro. Yeah, I'd. Uh, and that's I'd a three point five percent. That's yeah. a, that, that's a man. You can have that all day beer right yeah, there. This is a seven percenter, so this is. Oh, hey, there's one right here. I'm gonna have to go try. I've been to Eight Bit Brewery. As mm. a matter of fact, I've got uh, oh, one yeah, of their that's one. Yeah. It's all video like, game theme. I'm video gonna, game theme, yeah. Uh, eight cool. bit, eight bit. Ryan's temporary insanity. There you go. Cocoa flavored. Uh, wow, look at that. It's a twelve percent ABV. 
spiced imperial. I'm, I am going to go down there and request that beer. <laughs> Urban Otterfact, uh, Abascus. Wow, interesting, man. So, yeah, I'll try that here in a little bit. See what it. Uh, see if it lives up to the hype. See. Yeah, that is definitely interesting. So. <clears throat> I wanted to dig into this uh, and get everyone's opinion on uh, there, there's a few there's a few subjects in it, right? So if you guys saw my uh, video that I posted on my reaction to, I haven't done a reaction video to a video. I, I bet you in years. I don't. Admit, someone will tell me. I bet you. Someone will be. No, Jody, you did that in. <laughs> <laughs> It might even be our very own bum that will email me later and say... <laughs> I, can, I can tell you now. I, I think it was your first reaction video since your reaction to Two Girls, One Cup. That Wow. That was no, a I'm, long I'm time ago. I'm, oh. I'm joking. Because <laughs> okay. I did post a video for that, didn't I? I know you did. I was scanning your videos and saw that, but uh, yeah. no, I'm... <laughs> it's, I'm oh, but before I go too deep into it, I am having a citra bomb. Ah, I'm I am having it. I am having an a actual citra bomb. It, you it, aged this, it for a couple of weeks. This this is this is my version of a citra bomb. It is ah. Kroger's finest ruby red grapefruit juice. <laughs> oh, <there we> go. <laughs> It definitely has that grapefruit kind of punch to it, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I am in the theme, even though I can't necessarily have any alcohol right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am one of those grapefruit uh, juice lovers. So, uh, But I did want to go into this a little bit because, uh, for one, I had never heard of the word until I saw... Lee's video, um, and, and and for anybody, if you haven't seen his videos, you have to check him out. I love his style. It's it's not my style. It's him. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And, and he he's he's an old schooler. He's been around. He's been doing these videos for it. I don't know every bit as long as I would think I have, huh, Mark? Uh, oh yeah, he's been doing them since probably 2008. Mm -hmm. I would say something like that. Yeah, eight or nine years probably. Quite a while, and he's and, and what I what I like about him is he 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 has these levels of uh, disgust, like he'll <laughs> he'll get disgusted with stuff and stop making videos for a while, and then I I don't know, if, you know, then he 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 gets uh you know where he'll come back and make videos again, and then uh, and then yep that nah this is it again, yeah so. And and it happens, right? Like you, I've had my own periods where you know it's like you know I think I'm just done with this, and then for whatever reason you just you know the next Tuesday comes and here we are, <laughs> and now you're stuck with me. <laughs> you know I gotta do this by myself. I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, but um, I just wanted to talk and, and see what everyone's feelings were on you know just the just the, the word itself. Beer tuber. What what is what does beer tuber mean to you, Mark? Well, I have heard of the term before, but for me, I, I mean, I think it's just somebody who reviews beer on YouTube. Mm, okay. Who uses YouTube as the main the main way to review and talk about beer. So. <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes some you know some sense. Of, you know, of course, it seems like the obvious, right? It, it, yeah. What about you, uh, Bum? Um, well, I, I watched his video twice, and until you posted your video, Joe, I had, I had never heard of Lee. But oh. I, uh, yeah, I'd never heard of him. So I, I watched I watched the video twice, and I'll, I will say this: I mean, in my 20 years on the internet, there there is a 100 percent failure rate of people that make grand announcements either by video or on message board saying, I'm out of here, I'm done, you'll never see me again. When people publicly make that proclamation, there's a 100% failure rate. They always come back. Yeah. <laughs> the, the people who do disappear and are, are, are never heard from again, they just quietly slip away without letting anyone know. Uh, but that, that said, um, 
and as you said, Joe, there's a lot of people on there that he mentioned. I, I, this is a whole world that I didn't even know about. I didn't even know that this whole, all this drama and all this, yeah. this stuff existed out there. Yeah. Um, but uh, he, he certainly mentioned a few names that I'm familiar with, uh, and and some, you know, the, <laughs> some of the stuff that uh, reasons why he doesn't like them. But right. uh, most of them, I didn't, I didn't recognize. But uh, yeah, too much, too much drama for me. Right. Just a lot yeah. Of drama. I go where drama isn't, which is why I like to come here. No <laughs> drama. Yeah. Yeah. I. I, uh, I. 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 Just you know, I want to hear what Bear has to say. Did you see the video first of all? No, I don't even. I have no clue whatsoever about who you're talking about, what you're talking about. This is all, I have no idea about any of it. So. Oh, okay, okay. Well, so then what What does beer tuber, does that make sense to you? Like it's just, you know, what does beer tuber mean to you? I have no idea. It sounds to me, <laughs> I guess from what Mark said, I guess, I don't yeah. know. I, I just, I. this is all news to me. I I didn't see your post, and I. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I no, don't know what any of this is about. Well, it, <clears throat> when we're done, though. Yeah, it, it, he, he he used to actually go by. I don't think he used his real name. I think he used to use what was it, Hoogly, Hoogly or Hoogly beer reviews? Oh, uh, Hopefully like reviews. H o u g h l y Hopefully yeah. or something. He did yeah. like video games. He did beer. He did whiskey. Yeah. He did a I, bunch. I, of stuff. I saw that name on a lot of his reviews in the titles. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he used to go by any, and he's had a few different styles of doing it. Uh, the reviews, and I, uh, I used to really like his his, you know, his, his, some of his first videos. Uh, I used to really enjoy him. He, he, he didn't even show himself uh, for for quite some time, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was a little bit of a mystery who would he even look like because he wouldn't show himself. He would just show the beer mm -hmm. and and then the beer would disappear for a little while and you could hear him sipping it and then the beer would come back. So he's always had this really different style and and I just appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's everything's not for everybody, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. He definitely stood out in the early days uh, because you know he's real opinionated, real real strongly opinionated on stuff, mm -hmm. and, and just not afraid to put it out there. I mean, he never has been, and and that's yeah. I appreciate that yeah. because I definitely won't. <laughs> you want to get that here? You know what I'm saying? But there's there's just something for everybody out there, you know, and. Um, he he definitely had this. Um, he had a, he had some rants and he had some things that were bothering him, and he definitely knew stuff about people that that we know that I had no idea about. I honestly, all that stuff uh, with Greg, I had no idea about. And uh, now I got now now it's like a big teaser. I got to watch a video. I <laughs> yeah, I you know, and I know Greg watches the show, and I, I really don't personally, you know. I don't know. People do those sort of things these days, right? Like the stuff he's accusing Greg of doing, and and I maybe it's not even a, accusing him because he, he, he you know, uh, I've never talked to Greg about it. But I mean, you know, if he did those things, I I kind of it doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's it, people do that sort of stuff, you know. So. And I'm teasing because I want people to watch the video. I'm not going to tell you everything he said. You know, you watch his video and hear, hear it straight from him because the way he puts it is is exactly what I'm talking about. That's his style. Like the way he the way he makes his point is exactly why you need to see that video. So, Are you talking about Greg Puppet? Yeah, Greg's beer reviews, yep. He, okay. he def definitely had a big rant about Greg. Um, definitely had a big rant about someone that contacted me a couple months ago on Twitter. I happened to be on Twitter this one particular day, and I got a message, a uh, direct message from uh, Tasting Winch, Tasty Winch or something. I guess she's French. Huh. 
Huh. And uh, she, I guess she had just heard of me, and she was going to try to be on the Share Beer Show. But, you know, it's the time conflict. You know, someone in France, I mean, that, that time difference is really, as you can, oh, as yes. you can see. I mean, we'll, we'll occasionally have someone from overseas on the show, but uh, they, they might show up once or twice. But it's pretty tough for them to get up at that time in the morning. Yeah, I stay up late, and it's 1 or 2 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so unless they're already happen to be up, they might jump in. Uh, we definitely had some opinions on her. Um, I, I just kind of, I still maintain that, that there's just, you know, things change and there's just room for all of us. I mean, obviously, because we all have an audience. Uh, mm -hmm. if you have an audience, people like you and they like the way, you know, you, you approach things. Um, how long is a video? I think it's about 15 minutes, I think, somewhere in that 15 okay. or 16 watch minutes. It. Watch is that it a link or I'm sorry? Can you send a link or whatever? Or? Uh, Barrett, just go to Lee. What was it, Lee Johnson? Or Lee His Russell. Russell, Russell. Russell. You type Russell. in Lee Johnson on yeah, YouTube. Lee Russell. Oh, Lee, Lee Russell. I'm sorry, Lee Russell. Yeah, Lee Russell. Uh, I could probably pull it up in my... It's okay. Just tell me how to get there if you want to. I'd, I'd just like to see it. I'm curious. Yeah, I found it myself uh, after watching Joe's video. I found it myself, so it's pretty. If I can find it, it's pretty pretty easy to find. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, trust me, if I can find it, anybody can find it. Yeah, no, it's and it, it, it's. I'm pretty public too, so if you go through, I think the history of my YouTube. Okay, views, I'll do that, Joe. You can probably see it. Um, but I, I'm definitely gonna. Let me see. Da -da -da. Okay. Uh, Do I want to watch his video first or Joe's video first? Yeah, watch his first. Um, okay. Yeah, here it is. I can, I can, I can. Te I, I don't think you can hear the audio, but I can definitely, definitely tease it right here. And um, he's always had this good. He now if if. if God, and depending on how long you've watched me, you might be familiar with Trucker Steve or not. I don't mm -hmm. know. He looks identical to Trucker Steve. I mean, Trucker Steve is pretty popular in, in the, I guess it would be, truck tube world. Um, but, uh, you know, in my early days, I started out as purely a truck driving podcast. That's how I started, mm -hmm. for those of you that don't know. I, and, and that's why when I started the videos, I already had a decent following because a lot of people that followed that you know followed my podcast, my trucking podcast, just naturally followed me over to my videos. Um, I can, <clears throat> it, it, but this is this is this is it. I'll copy this and then I'll post it in the chat. And I can probably uh, just pull up what the fuck is beer tube. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. could do that. Yeah, that pretty much gets you there. Yeah. That's the link right there too. But yeah, you could. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that's the only video on YouTube with that title. It'll come right up. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and and then you you see you know one of the commenters there is I'm a so fat and he he's definitely been around uh, longer than me. Uh, mm -hmm. he, Gary's been around a long time. Him and his wife have been doing videos for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I, I still intend to get up there and meet up with them if they would if they would have me. That would be a lot of fun because um, they they seem like a, a hell of a couple. Yeah, it seems around. like it'd be fun. It'd be fun to hang out with. Yeah, they, he, he used to be a regular on the show. And what's what's unique about him is he's uh, he's also in the beer industry. He does ink for cans that we drink out of. So. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think if I remember right, and maybe it's changed, but if it's still the same, uh, he he is he works for one of four companies in this country that do ink for for cans. Yeah, they print the cans or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting, and it's very interesting like how much he travels to to make sure that the ink and everything, the colors and everything goes right. Mm -hmm. uh, 
he is a very busy person with can printing. It's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. So when, when you'll see me and Mark sometimes occasionally geek out a little bit on the, the printing on a can, and it's, it goes back to those days. It goes back mm -hmm. to the days when uh, you couldn't hardly put up a can without Gary commenting on the ink on the can, like yeah. all the colors <laughs> And everything, and, and it goes back to the. I'm still trained to do that. Like, oh yeah, and look at the, you know, that, mm -hmm. that it you goes. Say, yeah. What was that? I'm sorry, that was me. I just pulled his video up. I. Oh oh oh. I said hey guys, and I, I paused it. Now watch it when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I just wanted to point that out. And then he did point out like the sense of community. Uh, uh, and and I I take part of the responsibility for for my part of that because uh so, you know things change and he did mention you know how tight the community used to be back in those days in the early days and uh you know how how close a lot of the beer tubers used to be and uh and we and it and it's absolutely true uh, I I think Mark can vouch for that mm -hmm. uh we we did used to be. You knew everybody, and you know every, there was only so many beer tubers, and we all knew each other. You know, mm -hmm. you, you didn't have to necessarily communicate all the time, like daily or even weekly. But you know, online uh, we would all get together, and especially once I started the the, the share beer show, we would. Uh, I think everybody would make an effort to at least pop in every once in a while and say mm -hmm. hi and. Uh, and he brought up a name, uh, uh, Yishi, Yishi, tu, Yishi Tuba. You remember? Oh yeah, Yuichi, Yuichi. Yes, Winton. Yep. He was uh, yeah, Winton. Yes, that was his name. He was a uh, Japanese, uh, American Japanese uh, mm -hmm. uh, beer tuber. He was really good. He was out of the Bay Area, San Francisco, and yep. God, he was so good because he was a music, music. Oof. He played musical instruments. <laughs> <laughs> big Musician. time, though. I'm a big time musician. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, big time. I mean, he played. Gosh, I don't. I I would say almost anything with a string. Yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, I actually went up and met up with him like in 2010. We were out in San Francisco, and I spent a afternoon and an evening with him. Great, fun guy. Fun guy. He, he's like um, a composer. He's written like. Scores for uh, movies and yeah, symphony, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, really talented guy. It's it's very very talented. He was his videos are really good. I don't know if any of them are still up or not. I haven't looked for his stuff in a long time. Um, and and then he mentioned some others too that I had kind of forgotten about. And and then just a ton of uh, uh, other people that I have no idea who they are. Um, I mean, a lot of them. The, the majority of them, I didn't know who they were. And I guess that kind of gets to his point is, you know, it's just he doesn't see it as a uh, uh, a tight community anymore. And No, no, it, it isn't. I mean, when we started, it, there was probably 10 or maybe 15 people doing beer reviews on YouTube, maybe. Yeah, it, when, when I started making my videos, I can only remember about five. Yeah. I think I might have been the. Sick. You were probably one of the second or third. Yeah, Gary was doing it. Gary uh, was already doing the it. The guy in uh, L.A. You know who yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. that that was um, oh. um, uh, darn it, Norm. Norm. Yep. You, Norm, Gary, uh, Chad was doing some. Uh, Chad was. I good. popped in. Lee had been doing some. Yeah, Lee. I think. Uh, Lee, yeah. And then, like six months after that. It just like quadrupled. I mean, it's just crazy yeah. how many people started doing doing beer reviews. Yeah. Like up through about early part of 2009, there was just a few people, and then it just went it went kind of crazy. A year later, there were probably a hundred people doing beer reviews, and it just kind of grew from there. And then you got the malt liquor and all the stuff that came in. <laughs> yeah, that malt liquor crew. They came, <laughs> What was their name? Oh my God, I forgot about those guys. Harassed me forever. Oh yeah, do malt liquor. Ever they wanted me OD, to be part of that. OD. That was the guy. It, Remember, it was, he would, he would, if he would get you to do a malt liquor video, you had the, if you did a malt liquor video, then he'd send you a craft beer. Well, <laughs> so that, people to do it. That the malt was liquor insane. challenge. That was insane. 
it, it was crazy that he was so nuts about malt liquor, but had the biggest craft beer collection that I I, I think of that time oh, anybody. Yeah. He had thousands of dollars of craft beer in his refrigerator. Yeah, I mean, he, he had a whole cellar. Everything it was just. And multiple bottles of stuff. I mean, you name it, and he had multiple bottles of it. I mean, it was nuts. And he would he open up. Doing, was, but then he was doing malt liquor. He was like doing 40s every day. Yeah. And doing a video of that. And I'm like, <laughs> why? Why would you do that? The guy was nuts about malt liquor. But oh, yeah. he, he had every craft beer. Like, if they came out with a craft, one of those, some of those specialty beers, if, if any brewery he came out with multiple a, bottles of it, multiple yeah. bottles. I mean, not just one, not just two. He would buy three or four, yeah, and and and, and sour them. And it was, and I believe he was a DJ. Yeah, he had a business and he did DJ, and he was in Bakersfield. He lived in California somewhere. I think it was Bakersfield or somewhere in the Valley, Central Valley of California. Yeah, but yeah, there was the malt liquor it, thing. There was of. that malt liquor crew, though. What were they called? It was O D A or something. O. Uh, Oh yeah, but I, I remember their their supposed leader was Alabama. Oh yeah, that guy, and they, Tiny Tiny Tim or whatever his name was. Yeah, they, he was he out was of Alabama. That, I don't know. He he was a big dude. If you oh, I can, I can remember the one guy. Well, one guy was Smell Pickle, and he would he would jump in <laughs> in some of in some of our uh, shows sometimes. Yeah. Smell Pickle. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Oh, Jay Vega found us too. I mean, he's still, doing, he's still posting malt liquor. Yeah, right yeah. for this show, he posted malt yeah. liquor right away. <laughs> there you go. I think he just has it like on a bot. Like every every Tuesday, it just pops up and yeah. it doesn't post malt liquor. Yeah, he, he he has his own exactly. Yeah, his own bot, and it just finds share beer. Boom, boom, and it and it, and it automatically. Yeah. <laughs> Malt liquor, <laughs> it punches it in. <laughs> yeah, wow, man, that that's like hurting my head a little bit. All that yeah. hot into that, uh, that yeah, smell pickle. I haven't thought about smell pickle in a long time. Yeah. Me and that dude actually used to chat a lot. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, on uh, what was it, Skype or something? We actually used to chat a lot. Yeah. Dude, yeah. He was pretty. He was in the south somewhere as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a handle, uh, huh? I smell just, people. That's a, great name, oh, smell that's a blast from the past. <laughs> Ooh. And then two beer queers, man. They were cool yeah, as hell, man. Queers. From Hawaii. Yeah. All right. There it is. I couldn't wait anymore. Yes. This is the coffee, sour I coffee. Yes. Yeah. yes. It's dark. It looks like coffee. It's about the same color as coffee. No head whatsoever, huh? Oh, and it's wow. Smell. You first take a whiff of it, and you definitely get like a fresh coffee aroma. But then right after that, you get that um, that sour that you get from a sour ale. So you get coffee followed by sour. Wow. Ooh, interesting. All right. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think exactly. <laughs> oh. If you like sours, this is a good sour. The um, the coffee taste is there a little bit, but not as much uh, as it is on the aroma. So the the aroma is coffee up front, followed by that that wild yeast kind of sour aroma, and then the flavor is a, just a little bit of coffee, but mostly just a good strong sour ale. Mm. Yeah, it does pucker your lips a little bit. That's for sure. So it's, and you said that was eleven percent. Eight, say eight percent. You said. Right? Yeah, seven, seven percent. Seven, okay. Seven percent. So, wow. I don't know. And it, it's called Capulus. Capulus is the name of it. Capulus. Oh, wow. So I know do you, you don't. You've never had a sour, had you, Barrick? Yes, I did. I remember. <clears throat> I think it was oh, last right. week. I was telling you guys. I tried oh, right. Yeah, he had his like. What you tried two of them or something? Yeah, one was okay. really strong and one was really mild. I liked the mild one. Okay. The strong one really made me pucker, and I didn't. It was okay. I mean, I could drink mm -hmm. it. It wasn't. It didn't taste like beer at that point. Okay. Yeah. This is more on that. It's not a mild sour. It's a fairly strong sour. 
It's got a little bit of carbonation, light, light, lightly carbonated. A lot of sours are pretty light on the carbonation, though. So, oh, yeah. You gotta like coffee. And you gotta like sour. And the wow. Two... Is it a good beer advocate, or does it have anything? On oh, I don't know. I was I was all off into the. Oh no, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it, what well, you, you said that was called catapult or capulus, C A P U L U S. I need to take a picture of this. It's definitely a, a unique login for me on Untapped. Yeah, you ain't kidding. That's a unique one. Yeah, Alpha Brewing Untapped. <clears throat> yeah, let's see what we get here. Let's see. Let's share the screen. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, look at that. Wow. For untapped. It, this is 302 total reviews here. It's a 3.65. Okay. 292 uniques and 19 this month. So okay. if the numbers are this low on untapped, you can just imagine what they are everywhere else. Mm-hmm. Uh... I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make the twentieth log in here in just a second. <laughs> so here's their uh, their beers. Pretty 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 plain, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that. Um, okay, here's their Capulus. Uh, the dark ale was was aged in neutral oak barrels for ten months, and yep. then aged on coffee from our friends at uh, String Be String Bean Coffee. Tart, earthy coffee. Yep. They've got it at... Uh, I don't see any IBUs. At 7% ABV. Yeah. That's well, tasty. I, I like sours, and it's a, it's a good example of a sour. It's kind of unique. I mean, it, most of the sours, they'll do with fruit or something like that. and I guess coffee is... Uh, well, that's, is that the fruit of the cocoa plant, I guess, or coffee plant? I mean, it's coffee, the coffee beans, I guess, are the fruit of the coffee plant, so. Yeah, yeah. Technically, it's fruit. <laughs> yeah, it's the, they've got a few. Uh, it looks like they got Capulus Prex. You got the regular Capulus and then Capulus Prex. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had that I had that one, the Cap, Capulus Prex, in, uh, in the brewery, which is a good one. Okay. Wow. So yeah, that that's that. I mean, that is, to me is interesting as all hell right there. Yeah. It's uh, it's got a co definite coffee coffee flavor, but with the sour right behind it. I think I'll pass on that one. Oh, cool. I, yeah, that, I, I'm glad you I, uh, shared I, that I, one. That that's that's a unique one. That's a very unique one. Wow. I'm like, is Bum frozen or is he just? Can you hear me? Oh, no. He's just an awesome sour coffee ale, that's all. Hey, how's my connection, by the way? Is it is it is it my connection better today or Yeah, yours is pretty good. You haven't had any lagging or anything. That's been okay, solid. good. All right. Yeah, I kinda I'm kinda direct connected to the router today, so Okay. Cool. I'm not I'm not wireless, so it's I, I was hoping it would be better for the quality. Mm-hmm. No, it's it's pretty good. Right on. Are you, are you having another one, Barrick, or is it is are you still having the same? Oh, I I'm on a Citra bottle. Mm. Oh, okay. And and Bum, are you have on a different beer? Or? Uh, no, I'm having another one of the milkshake stuff. Oh, he's mute. Are you mute? Can you hear me? Nothing. We don't hear you, big guy. Here we go again. <laughs> it sucks when you're muted because you you're like, oh, what can I do? I can't do anything. I'm trying to speak. I'm speaking, but no. <laughs> yeah, once Google mutes you, that's it, man. Yeah. You don't exist. The guys at work yesterday were trying to tell me how it was supposed to rain today. And they said, oh, no, the weather forecaster said 60% chance of rain today. And I'm like, <laughs> You fools. 
Google alerted me that tomorrow is supposed to be eight degrees cooler than it was today. So, ah, and they didn't say nothing about rain. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh, no, 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 the weather forecast on TV said it was going to, now I'm like, no. If Google doesn't say it's going to rain, it's not going to rain. I swear to God, there hasn't been any rain yet. <laughs> Google knows all. Google knows yeah. all, man. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what I'm that's that's what I'm sticking to right there. So they keep me on air and keep all my videos posted. Because <laughs> at any time they want to, they flip the switch and you're done. <laughs> you don't exist anywhere. You're done. Right? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Is it working? And I'm out? still enjoying my citra bomb here. Mm hmm There you go. Me too. Pink citra bomb. <laughs> yeah, he spoke with the, yeah. Oh, yeah. see what it says? Yeah, the, edit this, huh, Google? <laughs> <laughs> they can't take away all the voice, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. You can. Yeah, algorithm this, man. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Put this in your algorithm and smoke it. <laughs> Yeah, code this, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to see you do something with that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty. Can cool. you hear me now? It does. It sucks because all of a sudden you're just muted and you have no idea why. Um, but yeah, I'll finish up a little bit. Uh, I got about a few minutes here with uh, with that one topic, and that and that was. Uh, you know, part of the I, I I do have my responsibility for what he was saying as far as uh, some of the closeness and some of that drifting off. I mean, life happens. I know it did in my life. You know, stuff happens, mm -hmm. and you know, I had to take care of my mom and all kinds of other family issues happened, and and things changed. Like it's been a long time, actually. You know, we're we're, mm -hmm. we're almost nearing ten years. Yeah. Of of doing this. And, or at least me making videos, and um, that's a long time. Stuff's gonna change. Like you're not, you're not necessarily gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. and, and it's taken can off. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, can hear you. Yay! Golf clap. He's back. But I, I, okay, think, huh? I think it's a good thing. I think the the beer community though is still there. It's just different, you know. There's, mm -hmm. there's a, you know, breweries now. Yeah, breweries themselves are starting to make videos. They've got their own communities going, which, which people dig, and that's good. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's people really getting into craft beer now. So that you know, craft beer itself is bigger than it was almost ten years ago, and that you know, thus so are these videos, vlogging, you know, some call it. Um, you know, so yeah, some of that's going to change. You know, I'm trying to get more back into making videos again. Um, you know, so you know, hopefully that part will help with certain parts. But yeah, you know, what can you say, man? You know, mm -hmm. I, I've never hey, quit making videos. There's people that have gone. There's people that have disappeared, and and you know, I can't I can't hold anything against them for doing that either. I mean, stuff happens. You know. Stuff yep. it takes it takes a lot of time and, and effort and energy to make these videos. So. It does. It takes a lot, and uh, yeah, and you're not you may be making a little bit of money, uh, except for Barrick and his his uh, bike week thing. We got <laughs> <laughs> yes, just a viral video, man. Not no but, more. Uh, I see down to about 150 views a a day. That's just wild. But um, yeah, I mean, so even if you were getting "Quote unquote," a lot of views. You're not. I mean, you're not making. You're making. You're making beer money, basically. Yeah. I mean, and after that, I mean, there's very few people on YouTube that make a living doing it. There's probably what I don't know. I, I um, think. I think they say what that there's like a top one percent or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, less than that. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, amazing. Uh, and it's fun. I mean, if you've got the time and it fits your life and uh, you enjoy doing it, why not? You know. Uh, yeah, but you, yeah, it does you, take a lot of time, and uh, you know it's purely for fun. So if yeah. you got the time for it, or something comes up, then you got to take care of business and and right. do what you need to yeah. do. Yeah. 
almost almost all the video all of the videos I put up are simply almost basically just for you guys and my family and friends. I don't expect people to look at them. When you get a half a million views from this little shitty thing you put together just for your family <laughs> and friends, what the hell just happened, you know? Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Since, since I can be heard again, I'll make my grand statement on, on this topic, Joe. Okay. Uh, I, I've, I think a lot of these so-called communities... They, they start out real ambitious, and I think, well, especially like when you have new technology like YouTube. What, mm -hmm. the, the beer stuff started just a few years after YouTube. But every, like the early guys, like the innovators, said, hey, there's something cool we can do. And as soon as the rest of the world saw it, they were like, hey, look at this. Why didn't I think of this? I can do it too. That's why it exploded. And that, that community is not going to stay small very long. And uh, also, I think the, when you're doing it at first, you get overwhelmed by the fact that you can do it. Yeah. Like a lot of blog people that started out blogging. Look how many people had blogs as soon as you could blog. Right. And look how many people were still doing it 10 years later. I think the Internet's littered with abandoned blogs that people used to, for the first couple of years, they, they put a post every day, and then they were down to one, once or twice a week, then once a week, once every two weeks, and eventually they abandoned their blogs. It's, you get excited early on, and you go into the thing, you, you just you love doing it, but it just it becomes, a, it becomes a second job, it becomes another job for you. Yeah, it's... And, uh, Yep. Well, that's, well said. Because yep. that is exactly, yep. That's that's it. I mean, it's it's it's, a, it's been that way forever. You you find a new yeah. hobby or something you're interested in, you go all in, and then then reality hits, and you're like, well, I still enjoy it, but not that much. So I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But I will say, a hundred years from now, when people are looking back on. Uh, through the chips that they have implanted in their brains, which will be the thing a hundred years from now, yeah. and they and they think Joe D, and all of Joe D's videos will come up, and your your great 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 grandchildren do this, Joe. They'll be like, hey, look at great 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 grandpa. He was one of the first beer beer tubers. Yeah. yeah. Let's look at his early video. He was one of the first handful. Yeah, he, he, at least he did that, I guess. They say, I don't know what will be the, I don't know what will be the, you know. Yeah, he, he, he didn't leave as much else, but we have these damn videos. What the <laughs> You know, that's about, that's about it right there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what, uh, you know, yeah. but uh, I don't know what else they would be good for, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, there's definitely. I mean, you know, even today, I mean, we've had a steady uh, ten viewers. That, you know, this mm -hmm. whole it's it's you know it's pretty decent little discussion here. I think uh, mm -hmm. is is what it was, and uh, you know, I think that's important as well. You know, uh, you know, some people uh, like to hear the opinions on certain, and, and that's what I I. I love good discussions. You know what I'm saying? I love good discussions on, <clears throat> and that's what I really thought Lee did. I thought Lee provoked discussion, and mm -hmm. uh, he, he provoked... Sure huh? He sure did. Uh, he, 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 I, will, I will watch him from now on. Yeah, he, he provoked, you know, some really good beer discussion, and, and, it, and it didn't necessarily have to do with beer per se as much as it did the community around beer on mm -hmm. YouTube and on Google Plus but uh, mm -hmm. and then he did mention um, the Facebook community as well which is enough for me he, he mentioned enough stuff for me in that video where I'm like yeah you won't you won't see me. it pretty much confirms it for me I was already on the fence uh, Earth knows we had a discussion about it uh, when we met up but I, yeah I'm pretty much after that I'm like yeah no I'm good you know, with, with with his description of the beer community on Facebook, and you know, I I think that happened a few years back too. Probably, mm -hmm. 
probably a year or so into Google Plus, that was the big separation, I think. Google Once Google Plus kicked in, uh, and you could record these shows like this, and it was the only platform that was consistent yeah. about it. That's a key yeah. point: is that it was consistent. It, it would it would fluke out in the early days a lot, you know, and it would flake out. I mean, and it would crash and all kinds of weird things. But it it was the only one like it that that would stay consistent and free. Mm -hmm. And um, and then came kind of the beer snobs, and and that really split everything up. I think. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think that really. A lot of people start taking craft beer too damn serious, man. And, and I, you know, I, I've always been there with my pinky out thing, and I'm like, mm -hmm. come on, man. We're not wine guys. You know what I'm saying? Don't get all pinky out on me, man. Oh, it was, it was funny. Uh, are you guys uh, ever post to the uh, the craft beer community on Google Plus? Um, there's a no. there's a craft beer community, and I posted. No. I was drinking. Um, I got a six pack of like the old style Coors banquet beer, you know, in all little mini barrel bottles. Yeah. And I posted it to there, and I got like three or four replies saying, "I'm, that's not craft beer. How dare you post it here?" I'm like, "What the hell?" You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just beer. Yeah. It's like, come on, man. You know? Yeah. I don't. I don't. Well, you guys know me. I don't have to. I don't even have to say anything. Um, yeah. That's that you guys it's know like, me. It's just beer. Really, it, it's mean, beer. It's enjoy like enjoy it however you want. I, you just enjoy the, you know what I'm saying. It, it got so ridiculous. You 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 might remember uh, uh, Barrick and Bum. Like it, it was it, like I would get comments on my glasses as far as like how I cleaned them. Oh, there yeah. was all, there was people that would make videos <laughs> on how to clean your beer glass properly. <laughs> It got that pinky out, man. It was ridiculous. And, and if you didn't, then it was. It didn't matter what the beer was. You just weren't a true beer lover. Yeah. yeah. You're. You're not. It got. It got that ridiculous, man. You're yeah. like, come on, man. You know. <laughs> yeah. It was like this whole thing uh, for a while too. It lasted for a little while. Like on. Uh, you man, you had best see. You didn't get the proper head retention because you this and that, and you didn't have your beer glass clean. This, you know what I'm like? Yeah. Get That's why it. I talk about proper glassware. I even think the proper glassware is is absurd. I agree. As long as it holds the beer, it works. Really. The, the only thing that I agree with that I get kind of. And I'm not even snobbish about it. Like I just had some people over this weekend, and 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 we all had beers. I get a little kind of picky. Well, I'll point it out to people. If they do it, they do it. If they don't, they don't. You know, I'm like, hey, why don't you have that beer in a glass? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's about my only. And, and you've heard me mention it in many, 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 many videos. That's the only thing. And I'll comment on it. If someone does it, they'll do it. You know, and most everybody here. Mm -hmm. uh, that was here would, would pour it in a glass and be like, hey, I got a whole cupboard over there full of glasses. Why don't you pour that beer in one of them? <laughs> <laughs> you, know? yeah. it, I, you can smell it in a glass. Yeah. 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 Well, depending on the beer, you might not want to put it in a glass. You might just want to drink it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's and it <laughs> but, is. It, it's a convenience thing. Like, if, it, you know, if you're in the backyard or if you're at a beach or something, yeah, I could definitely see you're going to crack the bottle open, crack the can open, and probably just consume. Mm -hmm. I get that, right? But, you know, if you're in a home environment, you're like, come on, man, the glasses are right there. Dude, you're killing me. <laughs> barbarians. Yeah, I'm like, you know, yeah, we don't live in a barn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like, you shut the door, you stupid. No, no. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's it's just, to me, one of those things, like like Beric said, you, you involve more senses than, you, than you're going to enjoy that beer more, you know? So if you already like that beer, you're probably opening it because you already know you like it. Um, you, you're just going to like it that much better in a glass. Well, you know, you know pe people don't drink wine straight, well, some do. But most yeah. people put their wine in a glass. <laughs> Some people even go to the effort of putting their wine bottle in a bag. In a bag, yeah. And I mean, then drinking it. Yeah, and it is. Some people do the same thing with beer. They'll put the can in a bag 
and then consume it. You know, it's just that when <laughs> put your beer in something. No, I'm just kidding. That's not the malt liquor. Bag. Yeah, malt yeah. liquor. Yeah, the malt liquor. Yeah, if you're drinking malt liquor, you're more inclined to do that because you don't necessarily want everyone to know you're drinking malt liquor. So that's that's probably <laughs> it. That's like a blindfold for your beer, right? But if they <laughs> see drinking out of a paper bag, they know you're not drinking anything good. So <laughs> yeah, Thunderbird or something, you know, drinking, you know, uh, old Milwaukee or some <laughs> ice, old mill ice. Yeah. I'm not, right? I'm not or... drinking Don Perignon out of a paper bag now. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It'd so... be a nice paper bag, maybe. Maybe with lace on the top or something. Hey, cheers to everybody, man. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, cheers to Lee, man. I appreciate mm -hmm. I appreciate him and his thought-provoking, conversation-provoking uh, video, man. Mm -hmm. that, that, was, that was a really good topic for a beer discussion. Overdue, actually. And I, I appreciate it. And everyone that watches these videos, man, I appreciate them too, man. Thank you. We'll see you guys next week, man. Peace Have out, brother. Have a good brothers. week, everybody. Take care, guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye.